Hey friends and family, happy September. We are just a few weeks away from departing for Austria and we're very excited, as well as a little nervous. It's a mix of emotions, but we are just about to skip across the pond and land in Vienna for the first time. So we wanted to give you a little bit of an update on how we're doing. We want to make sure that we are intentional about staying in contact with the people that we love and the people that are praying for us here in the United States. We know that it's not something that we're just going to fall into, uh, but we have to be intentional. We have to think about how we're going to stay connected. We have a number of different ways that we're going to utilize technology to do that. Everything from our blog, our email newsletter that goes out every month, uh, to updates on Facebook, and we just want to use all these different ways to stay in contact with people. Uh, we also are looking at using Skype, and we just think it's really important to stay connected to those that are praying for us and are behind us. We thought it'd be helpful this month to create a few graphs and charts to really represent what we've been thinking about and how we're feeling. Everybody loves a good Venn diagram, so here we go. You just heard Nate talk about intentionality and how important that will be when we're in Austria. So in order to stay connected with you, our friends, family, and supporters, there needs to be intentionality on both ends. As you can see here, if we both seek to find intentional opportunities to connect when we're available, relationship and engagement comes out of that. Our departure for Vienna is just a few weeks away. So here's a chart of what's going on with us from now until we depart. As our flight date of October 7th gets closer and closer, lots of things are changing. First of all, our excitement for moving to Austria is definitely increasing as each day passes. But at the same time, we also have very real feelings of sadness and fear and uncertainty as we get closer to the unknown and moving to a new culture. But that's okay, because God is our constant, and we know who to lean on when we struggle with that fear. This month, we've been keeping busy preparing for our departure, so we have lots of packing, planning, and sorting to do. And we've also had time to focus on saying goodbye to many of our family and friends. Overall, the best news is we have a lot of schnitzel to look forward to in our future. And of course, lots of new friends and relationships, and we're excited to see how God uses those to share his gospel in Austria.